Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the Django's live web series. We have an amazing band tonight uh, coming to you, sponsored by Casa Dragones, Terremoto Coffee Room, and the Django. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you all to these amazing musicians. How about it for Pat Bianchi on the organ? <laughs> The legendary Victor Lewis on the drums. Victor Lewis. The one, the only, Mark Whitfield on the guitar. Enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you very much. It's always emotional coming back to music when you don't get to play as often as you would like, especially um, when I get the chance to see my friends, guys that I have loved and admired for years. And as you, we have all suffered from being separate, it's a joyous occasion today that we're all joined together um, to play music in celebration of life and freedom 
and joy and happiness and togetherness and community. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to tell you what we played and introduce these fine musicians. Um, we are always honored to have one of our living legends among us. And if you would, please, amongst us, if you would, please, show your love for the great Victor Lewis. And equally legendary in his own right, master at the Hammond organ, uh, if you would, the great Pat Bianchi. Just extend a special thank you to Maxwell and to Ken and all the folks here at the Django uh, for helping us do this, to bring a little bit of music and a little bit of joy uh, into our lives and hopefully spread it into yours. The songs we played were, we opened up with an original composition of mine entitled Medgar Evers Blues, written for the uh, great civil rights activist. Um, and after that, we played uh, an old standard entitled Without a Song. Um, and then from there we played, uh, oh yes, sorry, uh, uh, Duke Ellington classic, In a Sentimental Mood. Um, it's only three songs, that's all we play? Wow, I feel like we've been playing longer than that. All right. Well, we're going to continue on now with something that I learned from the great Wes Montgomery. It's an old standard entitled, Willow, Weep for Me. Once again, thank you so much. Do whatever you can to support live music in whatever form <clears throat> we can bring it to you. I look forward to the time when I can look out in the audience and see all your smiling faces every once in a while when I open my eyes. In the meantime, I'm just going to imagine when I close my eyes that you're all here with us. God bless you. Stay healthy and stay safe. We love you. Thank you.
so awesome to see you guys here. And oh. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, to having me back in the Django, playing music, making it feel like it we're awesome. all back at home together again. Yeah. So yeah. I'm preparing yeah. a little something special in your honor. Lovely. We've got us a, a variation on the margarita cocktail. Uh -huh. That's right. So this one is called the siesta. <laughs> uh, it's what you need after you, 
Josh doesn't play music as hard as you guys. Just that's that's absolutely. Cool. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to tell you what's in it real quick. Calm down. <laughs> so this is a modern classic cocktail. Uh, we're using Casa Dragones tequila. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have a little bit of Campari, so there's a little bit of like a bitter bite to it. And then it's freshened up with some fresh grapefruit, some fresh wine, and a little bit of uh, cane syrup. And I can see that you're thirsty over there. I'm going to curry one right now. I know you guys have some shop to talk, so. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what was awesome. Can I drink this? Please, please do. No, no, you can wait for the party. He's waiting for the party. Just like, just like. Ken, you wanted to ask me a question. Cheers, guys. Well, I want to ask you. Salute. Salute, everybody. Salute. Salute. Cheers, guys. Maybe it wasn't me. I wanted to ask you about uh, tonight's performance. So, this is the first time that you guys are all. Playing together officially. This is the first official you mean documented it? gig. Oh, uh, between the three of us, we were six months late for, for a gig we had yeah. a little while yeah. back. Yeah. So you had a gig, and then Corona kind of prevailed, unfortunately. Oh, interrupted. Yeah. In awesome. Interrupted. I'm so glad yeah. that you guys were able to come here and play. And I know you've been playing with organists since you know your days with Jimmy Smith and Jack McDuff. And so it's great to hear you guys hear you back in this in this setting. It's, it's a little more special than you think, even for me. Uh, I mean, because I started playing with, with Jeff when I was about 20, 21, or so. It was a lot. Uh, uh, my former in my you know, my early home for me is mm -hmm. kind of with that is with that hand and organ. So yeah. I've been feeling a little out of sorts. We've talking, we've been talking about that quite a bit. Tonight, you know, I, these last few months have been so difficult for us creatives to find our portal back to back to home base. Back portal, to, to call the mojo. Right. To find your mojo, a place to launch, a, a place to be. To you guys found it tonight. That's well, I, I felt comfortable because we, we set up, we got to our side check. Pat played a couple of chords, we put a beat on me, and it took me back home. And, I, and, I, and that was more important than even I could have imagined. So I'm grateful to you for extending the invitation, and, and certainly grateful to Pat and the great that you guys got here for uh, taking me back home. Yeah. Victor, what's, what, can you talk about uh, the difference between playing with an organ player and a bassist and, and uh, your history yeah, playing yeah. with organ? I definitely want to say something about that. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, now, 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 now. They know this term. They used to call it the chitlin circuit. Come on, yeah. yeah. The chitlin circuit. And, and one of the major bands they used to, 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 to do the chitlin circuit were organ trio, of course, organ trios, yeah. organ, guitar, and drums, and, and, and Omaha was part of the, the you know, the chitlin circuit, mm -hmm. you know, and, and like, I, I didn't know that, that. I didn't know that actually, uh, I know they got you on the West Coast, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, inside yeah. joke, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm not gonna keep using it, no, yeah, and so, and so, I, I, I grew up, Listening and playing in organ trios, it's you, you know, it, it's it, it, it's um, it's different. I didn't know that. But you grew up in Yeah, man. I mean, you know, it, Omaha, Nebraska, the Chitlin Circuit, yeah. part of it. Yeah. it. You know, and, and like and like, okay, playing in an organ trio with my man doing double duty. Mm -hmm. You, you know, the organ does double duty. Bass and chorus. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and you may not believe this, but, okay, did they say on a certain level, nothing is better, only different. And, and like, there's mm. a, there, there, one thing is not better than the next. Yeah, it's just different. Just different. different. And, and there's a thing that I get from playing in the organ trio mm. that I, that I don't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 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 okay. You know, I love, I, I love the bass. You know, that, 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 that takes you home, man. That Leslie but, starts but spinning. That, that Leslie, that, that Leslie yeah. starts spinning, that man. That, that, that yeah. sound, yeah. man. Oh man, that, if that doesn't hit you, then you can't, then, then you can't be touched. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. it, it, and you it know. was really epic yeah. for to us to kind of kick things yeah. off and yeah. get back to yeah. where we started. Yeah. Going back to that sound, passion yeah. playing so I got I, I, you know McDuff, Jimmy Smith, Larry Young, <laughs> they be proud. Yeah. And, 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 and the other thing, the other thing about the organ trios, mm. it is that is that okay now? I was a classical percussion major in college, and one of the things they used to talk about was 
sacred music and secular music. Sure. Okay, now sacred music was music that was played in the church. Mm -hmm. Secular music was music that was played outside of the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, so it always bothered me the term secular because it was it was judgmental. Yeah, it, was ju it, was ju it was it was it was judgmental. Like, what did you call me? <laughs> it's it's like, it's like it was judgmental. It was judgmental. Right. Okay. And so unnecessary. It, it, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so like here you are. Uh, um, you got the organ in the church. You probably you got the organ in the church. You, you know. In in, in like it, fast forward to kind of modern times. Got the organ in the church. They like that sound and, and everything. And and, and 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 like in the Baptist church, the, uh, uh, they used to call the spirits. And, and, and so like, so back to sacred music and secular music. Mm -hmm. And then the organ participated in the secular part of. Of, of the music society and, and, and it's carrying that same vibe that the organ gets. You see, that's the thing I love about different instruments. Mm -hmm. Hey man, can no other instrument get, you know, the, like, like, like a, a good organ player, man. You know, okay, so. Hey, 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 you see me sitting around playing guitar, man, what you talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, 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 is that all music is sacred. Yes, it, indeed. It doesn't matter where the venue yeah, that's where is. It. it doesn't matter where the venue is. And so, and so the punchline is, is that, okay, you can, you, can, you can get affected by music in the church. You can get affected by music in a secular situation. And, and so and, and so like like um yeah yeah and so so one of the things that that organ trios did is that they took people to church on a Saturday night. Yes indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't have that. to wait till Sunday. That is a post line, isn't that so? Didn't have to wait till Sunday. Or Saturday night. Oops. Saturday night took you to church. You, you, you know, you know, and and, and like Reverend Jimmy Smith, you did. Oh, holla! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, right, Reverend you know, that, James that's right, Oscar Smith. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. That's right. He was one of the ones that did it. That, that, and sure? so, and sure. so, it smashed the whole thing about secular and sacred music. All music is it is sacred. And that's relevant to today. We still talk about smashing down, breaking down these walls. That's right, breaking down these Separation walls. between things. Separation between things. Bringing us all together. Yeah, it's all that together. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. And that, and that's, what, that's what today was about for me more than anything. Me too, man. <laughs> I mean, how long have we been like, wishing we could be doing this? I know. I and here know. we are back together again. Here that's, we are. That's a special here we play. are. You, you guys play a huge part. Uh, I'm so glad to have you guys. Yeah. Hey, so you, can, you, can you talk a little bit about, about some of the other things you did early on, like uh, uh, playing with Woody Shaw? Yeah, I want to hear about that. You know, we keep oh, out there. Moi? Yeah, Moi. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, uh, oh, man, I could, I could go on for just days. Give on, just, about, just give us a little something. Uh, uh, um, I'll I figure out, like, I'll try to figure out what points, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to tell you a story about, about the power and the salvation for us musicians that, that, okay, you start off, you like music, yeah, 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 and, and then you say, oh man, I like to get an instrument, try to get closer to it, and you practice for a while, mm -hmm. and you know, and then you get a gig, you, you know, and, and um, um, 
and then you make a little money, and, and, and then the renami, so, so that whole process. But I have to tell you this story about Woody Shaw. I learned a lot of things playing with him. You know, because um, he loved me and also gave me tough love. That's the best love. Because you learn you, you, you know, as you go. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Woody was high strong, almost blind, with perfect pitch and a photographic memory. Right. This is like a lethal combination. It's a lethal combination. That's right. That's yeah. right. And, and, and also, like, while other kids were out playing baseball and everything, he couldn't play baseball. He was with his horn. Impressive. You know, and, and so he knew the value of it. And so, and so I'm telling the story like coming clean, you mm -hmm. know. Okay, so like one of my early gigs with with Woody. And um what year is this coming? I'm talking about seventy six, seventy seven. Oh, he, he oh, oh, big time, big time. <laughs> and so, so um, this is before he even signed with CBS. So, how did you guys meet? Was the first time. Oh, that's another story. Okay, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you continue. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 so I'll, I'll finish this one. Yes. So, like, like um. We go to play a gig in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm. And um, I had just broken up with um, my first New York girlfriend. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can do that. And, and, I can relate. Yeah, and, and so, and, and so, and so, 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 this, 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 this is a great lesson, man. And so, so here I am. I'm like, oh, down in yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, broken hearted, uh, 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 uninspired, you, you know. You brought that to the gig. I brought that. See, 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 he's on point. He's on point. He's on point. He knows where I'm going. Came in and, and, so, head, right? and, and, so, and, and so, we play the first set. You know, concert, you yeah. know, two sets. And on intermission, Woody politely in front of the other cats comes over to me and says, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, say, Victor, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? And, and I said, yeah. And he takes me and walks me way, 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 way out of earshot. Yeah, sure. You no problem. From everybody. And, and, and turns to me and he says, motherfucker, what the fuck is wrong? You ain't playing. You ain't playing from your heart. And, 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 and so I started running down excuses. It, it, you know, it's like, like I said, this is a great story. This is a great story. Please bear with me. Mm -hmm. So and so I said, well, you know, I've been kind of going through some changes now. He said, fuck some changes. You, you know, and I said, well, I broke up with my girl and I'm you know, going through it. And, and, and everything that I said, he was shedding, and, 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 and I said, and, and, and I said, what, what, what I could really use is a friend right now. He was shedding that. He, 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 <laughs> he said, screw, screw all of that, no, all of that, and, and 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 then stepped off and left me standing there in the spin. Uh -huh. So, Not a friend, no hug. Tough love. No, no hug. No, no <laughs> hug. No, no hug. And, 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 oh, I said, what I really needed some understanding. He said, flash, ah, some understanding. Like no Tinder app. No, 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 none of that. None of it. You, you know, you, 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 you know. He's like, wait, the next 15 minutes, I need you to get it together and play this kick. Just right, just right. We play this kick like that. 15 minutes, we gotta go back on the set. You know, so, so. And, and then he stepped off and left me standing there. And it's me. So, so. so First, I'm kind of like, good. I can't, I can't believe he didn't understand. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It went from there, from from that, from that. This is a beautiful story. Mm. 
that's when I first really realized the importance of the emoji. Sure. Don't let nobody take that from you. Because it, essentially what he was saying is that I let that take my mojo away. You had so. something that made you special and you put it down. That's right, that's yeah, right, that's right, that's yeah, right. Put it down. So, so I'm standing there and spin, you know, I went through all the stuff. You know, I can't believe that you and so and so like my adrenaline kicked in and my mojo wow. that it, 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 it was a spirit of survival because the heaviest part was that I let him down. Sure. Yeah. That's not why you were there. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah, what That's job right. Right. So so this is the beautiful ending of it. The lesson I learned. Mm. So like when I came to do the second set, my adrenaline was up, all the spirits. Mm. I had shed some tears. Mm. I had gotten my grip and and, and and like I got my mojo back. And then so and so like I went back to play the second set. And you, you know what he did? Mm. He stopped in the middle of, this is Woody, Woody Shaw, yeah, right, and, right, and right, his prime, right. and the, whoa! Right. He stopped in the middle of his killing solo and turned around to me and he said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Play yeah, for your right. life. Right, play like you did. Yeah. Play, play for your life, man. Right. man, man and, and, and like, Don't give up the message. I will never, ever forget that. See, 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 see this is a lesson. That's a beautiful thing. A, a lesson that, this reason I moved to New York, because I wanted to rub shoulders with the big boys. They, they won't allow you to, they won't allow you to they, not be at your they, best. That's right, they, they, they would time. not allow it. In, in Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska, there wasn't the big boys? In oh, there, there was the big West Coast. Coast. Sure. Yeah, 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 Johnny Carson. Yeah, this was the West Coast. Coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they was all doing the Johnny Carson show. <laughs> <laughs> They were making money. They didn't care anymore about it. Speaking of secular and sacred music, did I ever tell you the story about Jimmy Smith and the hearse? No, no, right. no, so, no, 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 I'm all here, I'm all here, I'm all here. So Jimmy Smith, you know, I mean, some of the hit records, you know, all, all the, he had to have a camera. That's, 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 Right? Oh, you know, I never thought about that. Oh, so, so, it makes sense. Right, so okay, Jimmy Smith, okay. Donald Bell, he quit Warren. Talk about okay. it. Uh, you know, they, they on the road, they're driving to Chicago. Oh, it's, it's the 80s, 90s, yeah, in the 80s, 90s, whatever. In the state 80s. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. were going through, right? And, and, he, and Jimmy went, went all the way in. He was wearing a black suit like I'm telling you. Pulled over by the state trooper. And uh, he's, 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 he's on the top of the box. He's going to take a look at him. And so, <laughs> delivering so a, I'm delivering a body? Yeah, it's just the lodge and it's just delivering a body, right? So, so, so Donald Bailey sits next to him. What the, what the state trooper doesn't realize is Quentin Warren is in the back and he's laying on top of the organ, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So, right, 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 they go in the back and Jimmy, you know, with the you know, first one and the glass comes down. Right, 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 right. And, as, and, as, and, and, see and as, him, as, as he does it, Stitcher looks in, you know, and, and, and Quint Warren leads up and says, hello. Oh! <laughs> They had as much passion uh, for life, and you know, and, and the sense of humor was real. But when they hit the bandstand, the stage was an altar. Yo, you just hit one of my feet. right. A oh, true, it's an the altar. The stage is the altar. There was man. no nonsense. See, on the stage. see, see, that's what, what, that's and, what and, I and say. And that's and that makes every moment. He just said it. He just said. I mean, I hear that in everything you're saying. He just summed it all up. He just know. summed it all I, I up. I remember what you asked me about playing with Jackie Bill. Jack was, he was in tough struggles. He fired me every night for the first six months. <laughs> <laughs> right? We, we, we played the first night, and, he, and you know, Jack hated, you know, he always said he hated the banjo. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. So he knew if when he died, if he'd go into hell because he'd wake up and everybody'd be playing. Yeah, 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 ye